welcome again as continuing the series on the solar inverters so in today's video we are going to install and see the working of 2 kilowatt on grid solar first of all we have to see the mounting structure on which these solar panels are being kept or where uh, these solar panels are being installed this mounting structure provides stability and support so it should be very strong uh, also we have to see the orientation in which these solar panels are being kept that either they are the monocrystalline or the polycrystalline so uh, we have to see this carefully as optimum direction to face solar panels in the in the northern hemisphere where we are laying is in the south direction because it receives the most amount of sunlight both east and west directions are acceptable the, but the ideal direction to face solar panels in the northern hemisphere is south because it receives the most amount of sunlight also we should tighten these solar panels by the nut bolts so that external disturbance like the wind shouldn't eradicate these panels so this is a very important factor we should tighten these by the nuts we have total four panels that are mounted on this structure uh, each panel has a rating of 525 watts so when we multiply 525 into 4 that is 2100 watts as the installation process of the solar panel is, is over now we are going to see the inverter how we are going to install the inverter as you can see we are unboxing the inverter right now first we have to see the structure on which we are going to put this inverter you can see this is the 2 kilowatt solar inverter uh, so in this inverter we have different connections right now we are installing the wi-fi module so that whatever uh, reading we are going to get on this inverter we can connect that online as well as we have total five wires coming from the solar panels and going into the inverter uh, out of which one is for the earthing purpose so that if sometimes the fault comes uh, and the current will flow in the earth so that the equipment doesn't get damaged also you can see the lightning arrester if sometimes the lightning falls that will fall on this lightning arrester and goes into the earth as the equipments uh, or uh, the components will get saved to check the direction of the solar panel we can see this uh, use this inclometer this is an instrument uh, by which we can see the how many degrees this is in the north or in the west so this can be used to put uh, the solar panel in the uh, direction where we will get the maximum radiance also you can see each panel has its rating given on the back side you can check its uh, voltage is given 525 now we have connected these solar panels with the inverts uh, so this is the wire that is coming from the solar panels in the dc distribution box so this is an inverter and this is you can see distribution dc distribution box and this is single phase ac distribution box from the panel four cables are coming so this is from two panels positive and negative you can see to these two wires are positive and negative from another two panels so right now i can see the current which is generated from the panels so that will be dc current from the kilometer we are going to measure you, you can see that is 11.3 ampere uh, you can see 11.4 amperes from two panels uh, rating uh, that is 525 watts from another two panels you can see the current is generated almost you can see 10 amperes so total you can see 10 plus 2 that is 20 amperes are is, is being generated then it is being fed to the dc distribution box this uh, from this dc distribution box this dc voltage goes in this you can see from here as well right now pv2 is generating 10.6 ampere and pv1 is generating 11.5 that i have shown you from the clamp meter and total of that is you can see 1.6 kilowatts right now its capacity is total uh, 2 kilowatts right now it is generating 1617 uh, watts that is 1.6 kil uh, kilowatt on uh, you can see the date as well from this dc distribution box this is fed to the inverter uh, panel 1 and this is from the panel 2 so from this it is converted into ac then uh, you can see from here uh, the ac supply is coming that's into the ac distribution box and it is fed to this inverter from here this uh, wire is coming from the grid you can see this is ac supply it is coming from uh, the grid and it is fed to the inverter from here it is synchronized synchronization is important in the on-grid inverter you know when the supply is not not coming from the grid or you can say from the mains this uh, energy is is of no use it gets wasted it is of no use at that time that i will also show you when the supply is cut off from the base you will see it will show the fault and this energy is getting wasted 
right now we will see how much current is being exported so we will see how much current is being exported uh, to the grid you can see right now almost 8 amperes are being fed to the uh, grid so right now you can see 7.8 amperes are fed to the grid so right now the generation if you will multiply 7.8 into uh, 220 you will get that almost 1.6 or 1.7 kilowatts are, are being generated so this voltage is being fed uh, is being exported so this can be utilized but uh, biggest disadvantage of this uh, on grid inverter is if the mean supplies off or is uh, not working uh, for different reasons so at that time this will show the false the energy which is being generated or the power which is being generated from the solar panels is being getting uh, wasted as the supply gets uh, cut off from the mains you can see the supply is not coming from the mains you will see the fault is there the alarm is there so there is no generation you can see the grid voltage is zero so there is no generation so you can see the panel voltage 95 volts and uh, this is uh, uh, panel is also 95 but the generation is 0 watts so uh, right now the biggest disadvantage of this when the main supply is off so there is no generation when the supply comes again again this inverter gets into the into the synchronization mode and the supply starts again again i will show you when the supply is turned on you can see it will start uh, work again this takes almost uh, one minute you can see this almost takes one minute uh, to get restarted you can see the supply is coming from the grid 201 volts you can see and now after one minute when the synchronization uh, takes place it takes almost one minute to get synchronized the voltage of the uh, coming from the grid and the voltage uh, that is of the solar panel that is being generated from the solar panel and then converted into AC it takes almost one minute to get synchronized once it gets synchronized it starts supplying the voltage it is right now it is the check board you can see it will take almost 33 seconds so that the synchronization takes place you can see the self check it will take almost 30 seconds once this is self check is over then uh, the supply then the current starts flowing and the voltage will start get generating from this solar inverter you can see the self check is over now the synchronization is done now the power will start generating See, the sound has come and the synchronization is takes place. You can see now that. See, the generation has started taking place. You can see 4 amperes, 6 amperes are flowing. Look, almost 1.6 kilowatts are being generated. Uh, there is a question among the students whether there will be any generation if the snow or the rain is falling. Right now you can see as the snow is falling down, it's pouring down on the panels. So let us visualize whether there will be any generation uh, right now as uh, let us see on the inverter. As you can see the grid is in the normal state. Uh, it is generating the uh, power but that is very less. You can see it is 60 watts is being generated right now. Uh, uh, if you compare it with the normal day, it is very less because right now the snow and the rain is falling. You can see the grid voltage is 218 volts. Uh, PV2 is generating 76.6 watts and PV1 is generating 74.6 watts. Almost 60 watts are being generated and just very less. The snow has stopped as you can see and the generation has gone up. Uh, you can see almost 687 watts are being generated right now. So you can draw the comparison when the snow was falling and now the snow has stopped. Right now 2.9 amperes are being drawn from PV2 and PV1 is 4.2 amperes are being generated. So almost 650 watts are being generated. So you can draw the different comparison when the snow was falling or uh, when the normal sunny day was there. You can draw different comparison and you can check when the generation is less and when the generation is up. So this is how the on-grid solar works. Now after this we are going to see how the off-grid solar works. In this there is no battery, there is no storage at all. Uh, only the generation which is taking place in the real time that is being utilized that is all thank you very much